for the love of Imperius, please tell me my mic is working. I'm pretty sure it is. I see the I see the bar bouncing right there. That's good. All right. So welcome to episode four of Stormwatch. Um, I am joined today by our our lovely Deb. Say hi, Deb. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I don't know if I should respond to that or wait for Reb. Reb, 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 Reb. Reb, um, Reb. <laughs> and uh, today, we have, uh, Rob is, has stepped out due to a work conflict. Um, but today, we are joined by one of our writers and special guest, uh, Matt. Say hey, Matt. Hey. Otherwise known as Corlane. Corlane. Yeah, I got the name right, yes. Um... <laughs> So today we'll be talking about uh, the, p the patch notes that happened, uh, a lot of big changes, uh, the two new heroes, and you know our overall fluff and wonderfulness. <laughs> I love fluff. I love. <laughs> it's so fluffy. <laughs> uh, so um, I think we should start with the patch notes because there's, you know, I know someone's uh, favorite hero has. Uh... <laughs> I need to have that in the other screen. There you go. Uh, so one of our someone's one of our favorite heroes, well someone's favorite hero, got changed massively today, and he is really scary. So I'm gonna read out the, his exact changes, and then we'll talk about it. Uh, basic attack. Ar this is the changes are for Arthas. Uh, the basic attack damage is increased from 55 five per level to 59 six per level. Frost strike damage increased from 60 uh, plus 11 per le level to 80 uh, 15 per level. Frostborn hungers. Uh, Rob's favorite saying. Uh, basic attack damage bonus from 20% to 40%. Duration increased from 4 to 6 seconds. And rune tap damage... Uh, rune tap now requires 3 stacks for an 8% heal rather than 5 stacks for a 7% heal. So I never actually played Arthas, but you guys have. Have you... Right. Originally playing Arthas, I mean, we've we've struck on this chord many times. It, it was not an overwhelming experience where you're like, wow, I just want to keep playing Arthas. He's one of those characters that I'm compelled to. Obviously, I was compelled to him because of his beautiful wavy locks, but after that first initial uh, few games with him, it was really like, why am I choosing him? He's not strong. He's, he's not a champion, or I'm sorry, he's not a hero that you would gravitate towards. But now, he, he kind of... He has his fisticuffs in the ring now. He is equal to most of the other heroes. I wouldn't say he's scary now and something that you should watch out for. Yeah, you could get into a tussle and he could get a few kills on you, but he's not super scary. I would just say he's more evenly matched with the other heroes now. That's good. I, I have faced a match against him and he he scares the living crap out of me now. Like, normally I wouldn't be scared of him at all, but now he charges in, and I'm like, yeah, let's kill Arthas. He's an easy kill. And it's like, no, he's, he's not really, an easy kill. Really, the only time when I'm facing an Arthas that a red flag goes up and it says, hey, you need to be careful, is when he catches you, or catches me personally in his little ice trap, and I'm like, holy crap, he's on top of me. I need to get out of here. But if you have good mobility... um. I'd say you have a 50-50 chance of surviving, usually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can definitely survive from him, but if you are initiating on a team fight, and he's like, hey, I'm all alone, and everyone else pops out of the bushes, you, you've got to be scared a little bit. You know, he's he's pretty scary now. I don't know. Coraline, do you think Arthas is scary now? Yes and no. Thing is, <laughs> especially in team fights, you know, you have your Arthas, and he's doing his little thing in his lane, and he traps somebody, and then his teammates pop out of the bush and uh, engage, really, then the enemy team is trapped, and they can't do shit. You know? <laughs> um, so, especially with the damage buff, I think he's a scary now. He... Uh, yeah. <laughs> like, no. I'm, I'm still I, I don't find him scary I find him equal but not better than most of the heroes I feel like if I'm in a lane and I'm 1v1 wanting an Arthas there's a good probability that I'm going to come out the victor however like I said if he does get his ice out on me and he slows me and then his teammates ambush from a different lane and they're on top of me heck yeah it's going down I'm yelling timber it's just not <laughs> happening timber. <laughs> um so what about uh vala she was like one of your favorite heroes from before uh, I, I still love vala do you like her new changes have you played her yet yeah um a little bit i actually i didn't notice too many changes to her uh i noticed that 
what is it, her strife got some some increase to it. And and I typically use that for getting the minions down. Mm-hmm. Um, overall, it wasn't that big of a change that I noticed. I don't know. I was more gravitating swim towards one of the new heroes that was actually released. So <laughs> yeah, what little I played with Vala, she was pretty much the same so um i haven't played i didn't play her before um i've I've been saving her for the right time i guess um (laughs) but her hatred's been reworked uh every basic attack grants damien hunter a stack of hatred capping at 10 each stack of hatred gives a three percent attack speed and one percent movement speed this is really good in my opinion she needs to be quick because that's how she feels in diablo 3 she's really quick she attacks really quick and you're going to be able to kill quick hatred stacks fade at a rate one per second rather than all at once uh, the Rancer talent now increases auto attack damage when when uh, maximum ta- with, with when at maximum stacks. Um, so I really like the stack of hatred giving it attack speed and movement speed. I think that's going to make her a really valuable assassin on the field. Yeah, um, I do like the movement speed. I think uh, all all heroes actually got a buff to movement speed. It was like a yeah, four point to four point four or something mm-hmm. like that. So like half of a point it went up but it's still i feel like the mobility um is a lot better there's a lot more movement you're getting to your places faster and i think that is so cool that they added that for vala she like i said i was gravitating towards her because she did have that vault ability and she had mobility and uh, versatility and i think adding this to her makes her unique and i totally agree with you taffer that in actual diablo i feel like she's rolling around in her little heels kicking butt all over the place so it's it's very um it's the same vibe that you get and i think that's very cool that it's conducive to the kind of environment you have in her actual origin game cool any thoughts Coraline? i haven't personally played uh fala that much but i have a friend who does and she seems really good now with the speed increase. The only thing that's slightly annoying, you know, the, her ultimate uh, strafe, it's called, I think. Mm-hmm. You can silence her out of it. So that's kind of, I know, I don't know if that's a good thing because, like, if you immediately get silenced, that ultimate isn't just worth picking over the stun, you know? Well, there are a lot, there's a lot of abilities out there that really are awesome, but once you get silenced, it's just it's over. Like, you know, any, any channeling ability, like uh, the Witch Doctor's uh, ultimate where he summons a thing that, does damage in the AOE and it changes yeah. things down. If you silence him or, you know, stun him when he's doing that, he'll stop getting that too, you know? Or even like Diablo's uh, lightning breath, his mm-hmm. ultimate. Yeah. Oh, that would be terrible to immediately pop that and then get silenced. Oh. It's, and it's, it's Zeratul's, everyone was saying, oh, that Zeratul ult is dumb, but it freezes time, but it also stops people from using their abilities. I actually had a match where Void Prison actually saved me, so they you definitely have to know when to use it. You know? Yeah, definitely. Um, so, our new two new heroes um, are Brightwing and Lily. Dear God. <laughs> <laughs> so, Brightwing is uh, the fairy dra- fae dragon from um, from the Warcraft universe, also known in the uh, Hearthstone, which is the same universe. But you know, everyone everyone loves that damn card because you can't <laughs> use magical spells on it. Um, you were saying something earlier, Coraline, and how uh, it's overpowered. You want to read it? Well, yeah. The thing is, she can teleport anywhere where an ally is, you know? Mm-hmm. So she can be everywhere at once on the map. She has an automatic heal you don't need to cast at all. She has a damage thing you can... Um, her Q. Mm-hmm. It's a little ball that you pop up. You can buff it to do more damage, which is makes her not really a support anymore, but really really aggressive then you know it's a it's a fun ability just you have this and you toss it and it hits them yeah <laughs> i feel like to me brightwing is what uther used to be but you put that on some sort of fetamine and that is brightwing <laughs> and she i've actually heard it described that brightwing is kind of like the the hero that you want to gravitate towards if you have like ADD or ADHD because there's just so much going on. There's so much you can do. You can teleport. You can spit your DP, uh, your damage dealer out there. You can polymorph. There's just a whole bunch going on. And to me, um, I'm a really bad button masher. I just, I typically have no strategy half the time (laughs) and I'm just excited and I'm, I'm in it to win it. And to me, Brightwing was fun to play because you have 
all of these different abilities that are, are so complex, um, yet so easy, and you're just you're hopping all over the board. It's it's really cool to play. Not to mention, Brightwing also has some of the coolest flavor. I don't know yeah. if you'd call it flavor text, but like flavor emotes as yeah. well. Yeah, well, for sure. Yeah. Where she's she has her cute little voice and she's like I'm gonna kill you, <laughs> <laughs> among other things. I I didn't remember exactly her sayings, but that's pretty close. <laughs> yeah, she's absolutely adorable and she is really fierce. And I feel like she's gonna get a major, major, major nerf to her. Yeah, I, I think it's gonna be her uh, her mount ability that's gonna get the nerf because it's like a 20 second cooldown and you can go all over the map with it. Yeah. And it can yeah. be interrupted. That's the important thing, you know? Yeah. You can just, like, attack her and it, and it stops. So. Yeah. I, 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 I didn't, when I was playing her, because, you know, you had to start, when they did the reset, you had to start with the practice matches. I started with her, and I didn't even think about that. Like, I didn't even think about how much that can be abused. And then you were saying earlier that it works in the, the mines as well, right? Yeah. Um... So what I have no I haven't played I haven't touched Lily. Have you guys? Um okay. I have. <laughs> I was going to say I looked at Lily. I looked at that creepy face and the Care Bear stare. <laughs> I saw she was support and I was like, "You know what? Coraline's got this covered." <laughs> <laughs> I've played her, but I don't really like her because all her skills are passive, you know. You press something and it will happen. There's no skill shots. There's you just press it and it will happen. Mm -hmm. You know? To me, that's good for, like, new players, but where's the line where you put, like, can skilled players outmaneuver Lily, or has she just spam buttons and she'll win? They're, they're always going to have heroes that are like that. Like, um, there's always going to be... There's always going to be the one-button heroes, and there's always going to be heroes like, you know, Illidan, yeah. which are just a pain in the ass to play because you got to combo the right skills. And I think it, I think it's a good thing that they, they have those heroes. But I mean, the, it, as long as you know how to counter those heroes, which usually takes time, um, those one-button heroes are not going to last very long. But it's good for people to help get people into the game, I think. Yeah. I mean, it's cute if you if you want that token cute character for all them girls out there, but I mean, why not just play Brightwing and just heal I and DPS? I really call Lily cute with that Care Bear smile. <laughs> That is very true. If you haven't already seen, <laughs> if you haven't already <laughs> seen Lily, when you're actually queuing up for a game and you you press ready and it's getting you in the queue and she's making this horrible horrible face where she's showing her her fangs and smiling and it's completely off putting. And if you are attempting to play Lily and you press that and you're not already pressing cancel, there's something majorly wrong with you and you probably kill small animals. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't go Some... that. I wouldn't go that far. Um, <laughs> something interesting to note, though, you know, before the patch, there was this kind of meta, you know, two support, one tank, and then rest assassins. And with the new patch, it's like Brightwing, other two supports, then a tank, and one assassin. It's completely changed. So I really like that since the meta's completely changed because of those new heroes. So I have to give props to that. Very nice. Uh, what are the other two heroes that were announced? Do you guys know? Uh, Zagara and Murky. <clears throat> so Murky is is a, a Murloc, right? Yeah, he's doing <laughs> yeah. annoying. Yeah. Annoying. He's gonna annoying be, Murloc. He, he's gonna, and I'm sure he's gonna be built to be annoying. Well, yeah, if he lays an egg uh, and you kill him, he comes back instantly. Oh God, okay. Nightmares from early level WoW is coming back to me. Now. Well, he's a, he's a hero designed to annoy you and slowly wear you down and then kill you eventually. Even if he dies three times, if he laid an egg somewhere, it doesn't matter. It doesn't count, you know? Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, so, so they introduced um, bundles now, which is a really good thing. Uh, they, <laughs> Did you see the price tag for the starter bundle? That's yeah, the original price tag is what I'm talking about. Yeah, I did. Yeah, it's actually a really good price. The the seventy percent off, right? Well, yeah, yeah but I I'm wow. referring to okay. So let's let's talk about this bundle. Um, the starter one is the etc stitches Nova Gaslo Sergeant Hammer Malfurion and the Rainbow Pony yeah. Unicorn Mount. Yeah. Woo! So um, I just you... hold on one second. I just want to point out that there's not one single Diablo hero in that bundle. 
Done. Well, there's Rainbow Unicorn Mount, so... Not Isn't one. there two skins okay, as I would, well? One. I would venture to say that Rainbow Unicorn Mount is probably the coolest thing about this game, and it came from Diablo, and it's in the starter. So I would venture to say that that's more than enough to cover the Diablo. And there's is... also... Go ahead. There's also three skins that actually come in the, the bundle pack. So along with those, what, six, yes, six uh, heroes, that mount, you also get a Stitches, a Nova, and an ETC skin. And they said that it was originally marketed for $96.40. Yeah. And I went, holy <laughs> cow, I would never spend that much money for this. Yeah. I would not. The bundles are a really good idea. And the, the Rainbow Pony normally is 20 bucks, and it's $28 for the starter bundle. It's Yeah. For, <laughs> yeah. Fortunately, they did mark down, um, what, at least 60% down. Mm-hmm. Um, so it is $29.95 now. But holy cow, I was like, who in their right mind would pay that $96 for all this? Hardcore Blizzard fans. <laughs> Thanks for calling me out for being a uh, weak <laughs> sauce, not Blizzard fangirl, Coraline. <laughs> I'm more than willing to pay the $30. That's, that's cool. Me too. It's worth it just to get them out. And yeah. there's re- they're really good heroes in there, too. Like, I love Malfurion. And there's a few other in there that are just... I haven't played ETC yet, and I'd love to. So that'd, that'd be cool. ETC is a guy who doesn't do damage, but you'll never kill him. He's underwhelming, basically. His mosh pit is a really good CC, though, and that's what really matters. That mosh pit, if you engage in a team fight and you get a good mosh pit off, the team fight's over. Yeah. So, uh, Taffer, you were saying that it they didn't have any Diablo heroes in the starter bundle. But first off, they have less Diablo heroes in the game, period. That's blasting and it, itself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so if you look they also have the warcraft the diablo and the starcraft bundles mm-hmm. and the diablo bundle is the only one that doesn't come with a mount because their mount the rainbow unicorn mount the best one in the game basically the only reason to play the game <laughs> <laughs> it's in the starter bundle so how do you feel about that do you think they should just jack up the price of diablo and, and offer that and the diablo pack as well Mm, no, I mean I, I'm glad that the mounts are separate per pack because I don't want to buy the starter pack and then feel like I can't buy the Diablo pack because the mount is in it. You know, I like that they're all different. I think that I and you know what we before before they release, I'm sure we might see more mounts come out. And yeah, maybe sure. maybe one that's Diablo related. I mean I don't know what he would do. I guess you do the Crusader horse. I mean that'd be a good one. Or or you could have. <clears throat> You could have a demon horse, and it could have the skin of Diablo and horns and spiky what? and muscular like that. But it's a horse. You, you want to ride Diablo <laughs> around? <laughs> yeah. Like, let me just get in touch with Josh Mascara really quick, and we're gonna we're gonna make things happen. <laughs> Sounds good. Sounds good. Um. So the Starcraft bundle. I mean, I might do that one too because I really like. I I've been playing a lot of Kerrigan lately, and she is like one of my favorites now. Like. I didn't think I'd be really into her, but like she, her abilities are like, she's like, she's kind of like a troll. Like I'll wait until the perfect moment and then I'll get the kill with her. And people just, and she's like not really easy to kill either. And you also get the cyber wolf. Yeah. That sounds cool. I, I, I'm probably going to do, I know this is like a lot of money, but I'm probably going to do the Diablo Starcraft and starter pack. Cause I, I have like $86 in my, my battle net balance waiting for me to use it for selling all my Diablo 3 stuff, so. I think the StarCraft pack, with you getting Tassadar, that, I mean, that's that's worth it enough to pay the nineteen ninety five because seriously, Tassadar, does anyone else think that Tassadar is completely overpowered right now? Like, every time yeah. I have him on an opposing team, I'm like, oh, great, please get out of my lane, because I just don't want to deal with you. You're just going to be a headache. Yeah, you... they, Go ahead. they both uh, nerfed and buffed him, actually. Exactly. Uh, they... Let's yeah, see what changes um, are. Shields cooldown something. Where are you? Tester. Yeah. Protective shield down increased from six to eight seconds. Uh, health reduced from eight hundred and fifty to eight hundred, and less per level. And you know his um E his go invisible thing. It used to be that you could see him walk away. You know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He's completely invisible now. He's just annoying. He is one of those where <sighs> I feel like he's not gonna kill me, but there's no way in Hades I'm going to kill him. He's another ETC to me. He's just there to get in my way and make things more difficult. And his stupid shield. 
Yeah, the shield is is really annoying. Yeah, <laughs> and, or, or you know when you're like focusing down his teammates, like oh I'm gonna focus him down because he's not attached to Yeah, JK shield. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. yeah, a shield. Be gone, be gone, shield. I'm done with you. So there was a hidden change that I know that you're not gonna be happy with, Reb, and I want to show you real quick. Oh, gosh. Let me uh do that million screens there. All right. Oh, wrong. <laughs> All right. So Succubus skin has been changed. It's no longer the same. Oh, right. Yeah. <gasps> they no longer have the green one. Nope. Oh, what is life? What it looks better, in my opinion. I think it looks really good. She looks, you know, like a proper succubus. I like the hooves. But I she do... does look like a succubus. She just no longer looks like Poison Ivy. And if she doesn't look like Poison Ivy, my favorite character in the Batman universe, why even continue to live? <laughs> oh, oh, I know why. I know why. Okay. I, I'm, it's coming back to me. Why? Um, because Monarch Brightwing. <laughs> <laughs> Have y'all seen this? The one skin that they have for Brightwing is a monarch, yeah. and he has butterflies and a crown. Do you like, um, what is it called? God, was, I'm blind with drawing like that. Adventure Brothers, I think it's called. The monarch. <laughs> butter, the monarch. The monarch. No. no. <laughs> I don't. Um, <laughs> so in the patch also, uh, the, the daily quests have been reworked. Uh, would you like to talk about this, Coraline? Because me and Reb have not hit level 10 yet. <laughs> uh sure uh they completely changed the quests uh it's now like you get to level 10 and then you pick a hero you do first two games with him then you complete one set of the quest which you get 70 50 uh something xp uh then you complete four games get another xp amount and then you complete 10 games, you get the first uh, color variant for this, his skin. Mm -hmm. uh, and after that, I don't know, because I haven't gotten my 10 games at Arts yet. Okay. Uh, it, it, I like this UI a lot more. It looks very interesting, and I actually am excited to see what they're doing for the epic quest as well. Well, I think there's no epic quest. No, oh, there isn't? So you gotta, and... you're doing like six quests, basically? Well... I think all the quests are on there on the thing I sent you there with uh, what you have to do on the oh yeah when you hover over them when you hover over this is what it shows yeah the XP I think that's it but, uh, the the XP and then um, the two hero skins the the mount tents so the mount tents are that's cool and um, wait so the mount tents are when you hover over a, a, a certain hero right mm hmm so are you Unlocking a specific mount tent for that hero, or are you unlocking? I, I don't know. I right. haven't unlocked it, so I can't really tell you. And I've I'm seen curious, nobody though. with a different mount. It's been out for two days since the wipe. Taffer, right. calm I down. I know. I know. <laughs> where's where, where's all my information? I need it now. <laughs> um. So, uh, what? So, last I checked, Reb, your favorite hero was Vala, right? Yes. <laughs> so what's your, is it still Vala or have you changed? Oh, gosh, I can't, <laughs> I can't commit to Vala. I, I still love her. I really do. But I can't commit to her with Brightwing being released. And having played Brightwing the past two days, it just, I, I love Brightwing. And there's something about the snarky comments and about the ADD button mashing. You're all over the board. You can heal, you can damage, you can polymorph. There's something about Brightwing that, makes me hate towards her but um i do occasionally go back to vala just to break things up just because of the mobility mm -hmm. I, I guess i am all about that mobility life you the give me awesome. you give me heroes that can shimmy away from a skirmish and i'm gonna love it and i think that's why i'm drawn to both of those so nova's completely out diablo he's he's my my side guy he's my bottom my bottom b um, and it's between Vala and Brightwing for me. And one of them is going to come out the champion. Only the weeks following will tell. No Falstad? He seems like a hero for you. No, I don't like Falstad. He Falstad's just... awesome. Something about... I think <clears throat> I was not a good Falstad, I think, because his nose was just weighing me down. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wasn't good with him. I, I can't explain it. It just didn't click, you know? I've been, I've had really good games with Falstead, but I've I've had really bad games going against Falstead. Like they'll stutter step you like crazy, and it's mm -hmm. 
really annoying and like gotta catch foul settings like nope move back move back shoot move back shoot move back shoot and it's like ah oh, stop it and uh good good ball set to me was like all supports that i play against where when i play against them i'm like oh you're irritating and and you you're playing so well and you're hard to combat and then when i pick it up it just it crumbles in my hand and i'm like how do i moba <laughs> it's all it's all about his amount of ability it's all about flying in at the right time and uh just yeah being a dick maybe maybe i'll give him another chance but i've pretty much ruled him out also he's not pretty so <laughs> get out of here with that oh but diablo is okay i got you yeah oh diablo ripped red <laughs> I, I do i do like the female <laughs> diablo actually she's right there <laughs> so Corlean, how do you feel about Falstad? Falstad, uh, like you said, if you fly in with him in the right time, he can wreck. But he can also be very bad, you know? Yeah. Can be. He can get away, but I don't know. I have mixed feelings about him. He has a barrel roll. Do, a barrel do you think roll. I mean putting his mobility aside, do you think he's squishy? Yes. That was that was my problem. I was not getting away in time because I felt super squishy and I felt like I was just dying over. That's false. That though you get away constantly. That's why he has a barrel. You don't. You're not supposed to get hit. You know. Yeah. Oh, somebody <laughs> didn't give me that memo. Apparently. <laughs> he, he gets a talent where he gets a movement speed after that barrel roll, so it's really good about you know getting into the, the fray and out of the fray. It's really nice. <laughs> um. So, I've been playing a lot of uh. The Witch Doctor. I I love him now. Like, I didn't like him when I played him at BlizzCon, but it makes He's sense so now. good. Yeah, and... Do you, do you like, like his little spider ability that he sends out? I like or or frog. Frog. Oh, ability. the frogs are really good. Like, there's a talent where they get bigger and bigger every time they hop. Mm -hmm. If you get somebody fun. in a wall and you send frogs at them, they're dead. Yeah. Well, at least half their health is gone. <laughs> <laughs> it, I, it's really it's really fun catching people with their W, the, the zombies. And if you catch him with that, you can pre do you can do a lot of damage. To in him. in team fights, if you can hide behind your allies and you do your Raven of Spirit, oh god! I feel uh, like Taffer, you would be that troll witch doctor <laughs> that would just be <laughs> capturing your own teammates in your I've zombies. I've done it. I've done it. Yeah, I've done on it on purpose. No, not on purpose. Oh, okay. They they, they walked into it. It's not my fault. Well, if you want to stop somebody from no, don't go there. Just trap them, you know. <laughs> Save them from running to their death. <laughs> I yeah. saved you, bro. I saved you. Uh, there's a game I had with the witch doctor where I I grabbed um, uh, bribe. Um, I grabbed oh, what was the other one? I I had like four different abilities. One, two, three, four. I, and then um, I think I had the blink, and I think I had uh, ice block. And I, was, I was like managing all the. I have four abilities. One of the mage. It, it, pretty much, but dude, the thing is, is, like, bribe is really awesome for witch doctor. Yeah, I know. Um, then there's a uh, ice block. It's like, oh well, I overstepped. I'm just gonna ice block. Wait for my team to come, come roll up, and they roll up, and then I'm fine. You know, and I. I it, it, specialist is right. It's specialist. It's not an assassin class. It's definitely a specialist. And I played the witch doctor after I um after the reset and i'm like oh where are my hero talents because you have to get to like level what six or eight. something eight and it's like i just need to play like nova or something to get to level eight because i missed the the, the second half of the talents what have you been playing R playing? rp, <laughs> RP. Uh, i've been playing mostly artists because <laughs> i want to see new quests and i've done the games with him and i really like him now you know because mm -hmm. he's scary yeah. well you s okay, I thought we were talking about scary as in opposing him. So you think you're a big BA walking out there as Arthas. Like, do you actually pwn noobs? <laughs> <laughs> well, if they are too aggressive, yes. I mean, if they just, at the beginning of a match, there's always that one guy that runs up to your turrets. Oh, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> yeah. Because <And laughs> well, they, they aren't aware of the buffs that Arthas got, obviously. <laughs> and then you trap them and then you frost strike and they're dead. It's like, ta -da. hungers. Yeah. Especially if you get the poison uh, ability, which he got, you can get now on Artus. There's um, this. Oh yeah, the ability. poison hero. Hero. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's really good finisher, especially for Artus who doesn't really have that finishing move, you know. Yeah, yeah. 
Poison Hero is a really good ability. Like, I... Oh, I get that on the, on the Witch Doctor as well. I mean, it just works. Yeah. Um, uh, you, you throw it on a hero, it's doing, like, what, 35% of their health and damage? Yep. It's it's a really good ability. And, um, and especially, I think, uh, I think it stacks with the Witch Doctor's passive as well. Yeah. Also, uh, levers. Notice them? Yeah, levers. I actually had to leave a game, and I felt terrible. But I could every time I was trying to click the mini map, I uh, would ping the map. It wouldn't dra- move the map for me, and I couldn't like use my abilities. And I'm like, well, I, I'm, I'm not gonna be here. This isn't happening. I don't yeah, know but what it's you been... guys talk about. I don't get levers in my matches. Like everybody uh, stays in place. I I've made people. I leave. get them all the time. Every time my solo queue has left the battle, has left the battle, and I'm like, <laughs> no. Why do you give me bots? I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> do you have abandonment issues now, Coraline, from all this? <laughs> well, I I think so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, every time a team fight goes slightly bad, there's like, have left the battle. And I'm like, no, don't leave me. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I, during our interview at BlizzCon that uh, Steven did, um, they said, he said something about levers, and uh, he said that they'll look into it and that they, they want to see that, you know, the rewards are worth staying for. And I like that. I really don't want them to add, like, a surrender feature. I really hate that they did that. I hate well, surrender. If the people just they, give up like right away. If this goes like the way it's going now, they need to implement something that punishes a person for leaving. Yeah, because right, I don't mind punishing them for leaving. I just don't want people. I just don't want to surrender. I mean, because now it's just oh well, I'll leave. I'll queue up for another. Yeah. Ta-da. Done. You're no longer allowed to queue for a year. Well, not that. <laughs> I think that's, that's a little bit severe. That's Taffer. that's kind of death penalty stuff right there, <laughs> Taffer. <laughs> You only get the, the you only get the the, the hardcore man. <laughs> <laughs> maybe maybe once we get like ranked or something and you're diamond one, <laughs> <laughs> you you leave you uh, get banned right for like three months. Three months, yeah. yeah. Wow. We're, we're, we're serious. Bu- stuff. We're serious business, man. You, you don't leave our game. You fucking stay and you <laughs> kill them. You die with the rest of us. <laughs> we lose as a team. Exactly. There is an I in team, but it's hidden in the A, and it doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, I had a, I was, I was playing um, Kerrigan, and you know, I was, uh, I had a Brightwing with me, and I was like, "Hey guys," and like Kerrigan, uh, the Brightwing's like, "Following you, boss." I'm like, "All right, I guess I'm leaving this game." And then I, uh, you know, I'd ping everything, and I'd, I'd run there, and we had a, a Zeratul backdooring us, and oh, backdooring. I, <laughs> so good. And I, go on. <laughs> In I, detail. I use my Hearthstone to go back home, and I, I get there, and there's only, like, one hit left on Nexus, and I kill him. And we, like, cleared the waves, and then we had a straight path to theirs, and, like, ten minutes later, like, I'm really happy the shields regenerate on the Nexus, because ten minutes later, we actually won that game. Like, that was really close. Holy cow. And I love close games like that. Like I, I couldn't play another game after that because I was like, that was such a good game. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna have a drink, and wanna play some Hearthstone and relax, because <laughs> that was amazing. You know, Back. honestly, every every <sighs> Tuesday, I feel like there's just more and more ignoramuses just getting up in there and causing me grief and i play video games to unwind and stimulate my mind in a way but also de-stress because i'm a very angry negative person sometimes so when i get into these games and people are just effing up left and right and people aren't going into the freaking mines and they're letting me sacrificial lamb and i'm having a ping crap <laughs> left and right because they're not understanding like what you kill hmm. I literally had to shut off the game the other day and just walk away. You and I was like, I play, I play this game to de-stress, and you all are making me stress. <laughs> and and I can completely understand how a lot of other MOBAs get a bad rap for having toxicity because it really took a lot of restraint from being like, do you guys even know what you're doing? Like, I'm having to ping everything for you. I've only had to ping this 70 times for y'all to come up and help me with something. It's... It's crazy. I feel like it's getting more and more flooded with. Yeah. You, got, you got to have that chemistry, and that chemistry needs to work out. Like, you can't have a set amount of people who 
we'll learn the game. I mean, when ranked mode comes out, that's going to be the thing. But, like... To the... be fair, though, the only moment I really enjoy myself in Heroes is when I'm on with a five-man team on Skype and having a good time. Yeah. I because you know that. everyone will listen. Yeah. True. Sometimes, I, I used to be in a group where um, sometimes it would make things worse. <laughs> so... And it's some it's someone so there's you know sometimes you get people who don't, cannot take loses very well, and <laughs> <laughs> that's me. I raised my hand. It was me. I kind of called a taffer a, a lint licker. <laughs> 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 no I'm kidding. Um. So, any uh any thoughts on anything? Like um what? lag. Lag. Oh yeah, the lag. Uh, for sure. I remember, I've been seeing that happen. Like, you know, you, you, it's go into, really cool. you go into a team battle and then the screen will freeze and you know, it's alpha, which is perfectly fine. Um, but definitely something that's been affecting uh play for sure. You can do skill shots at this moment, especially with Nova. Mm, yeah. Nova's the best too. So yeah. On haunted minds, as soon as the column pops up here, just screen freeze. You're about Done. to yell at me, Reb. No, I was about to say, I'm still shocked. I have not seen a fix for that Nova bug for... Oh, the right. clone image. Her, yeah. yeah, her image where it, it doesn't match her skin. Yeah, that's really vital. That makes the well, ability useless if you use it with a skin, uh, color variant. Well, I mean, exactly. I don't mind not using a skin with a hero. Like, the skins are all cosmetic, but it would be definitely be nice for that to work, but that's not... Important. But Taffer, if you look good, you feel good. If you feel good, thing you is, play good. That's you earned that, that color variant. You like played how many games for it? I don't know. But and then you can't use it because of a stupid bug that will make you stand out like a sore thumb. I bought the Spectre skin and I can't use it. That's like saying I'm playing Diablo and I'm getting Paragon levels, but I'm not gonna have an updated little icon around my avatar icon and i'm not gonna just keep getting more and more colorful and spikes and leaves well the, the no, did, it, did not connect there it, it connected i'm just saying it. <laughs> i'm it just saying you earned it so you want to show it off mm -hmm. like when you grew yeah, up you be like, holy crap you have the most amazing spiky avatar with and like stars on it and everything with like with like stars, yes. Well, there's star there's stars now. Like before, uh, there was no Paragon portraits for above level 100, and now now there is. Now you can get like fancy stars all along the side and stuff. What is the highest level that we can get to in Heroes? I have not seen this cap. Uh, sure. 40. Is it 40? 40. 40. Because uh, yep. uh, I, I I don't want to be capped at 40 because I want to keep getting gold. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm... dailies. Yeah. They really need to increase the gold gain. That's true. And the dailies because... didn't work for a lot of people last time. And that's why a lot of people felt like a lot of the gold was uh, capped and not really... Well, per daily you only get like 500 gold. And when you're putting out hero prizes, like 10k for a hero. Yeah. Yeah. My, uh, my dailies weren't working for the past three weeks or so. And that really deterred me from playing as much as I wanted to. Me too. Yeah. Uh, the dailies are a really good system that... I've said it before, it pushes you out of your comfort zone, and I would not play support ever if it did not push me to with those dailies. I probably would have never tried Diablo if it didn't give me quests to um, be a melee warrior. Um, and with that quest, it actually introduced me to Diablo, and I was like, holy cow, I actually like this, and I like being melee and doing this. So They uh, changed uh, the, uh, the daily quests as well. There's now quests like play a StarCraft hero or play a Diablo hero or uh, play five games or something. So that's nice. I, yeah, that is. I really like that system too because I mean it's again what you said, Reb. It's it forces you to play things that you're out of your side of your comfort zone. Mhm. Mm and, and I feel yeah. like oh, I'm sorry. Go no, ahead. No, go ahead. Oh, I was gonna say um, what, what Coraline just said about having this particular universe where it it pushes you to try one of those characters. I feel like a lot of non moba players are are going to be introduced to this strictly through World of Warcraft with it having such 
a big player base. I feel like yeah. it's going to grab a lot of attention of those players, and they're going to say, you know what? Um, I love Wrath of the Lich King. I want to try heroes to play this Arthas character. Mm -hmm. And when they, they get in there and they're going to have a daily quest that says play a StarCraft character, they're like, you know what? I've never played StarCraft before, but this Nova chick, she looks really pretty, so... <laughs> Of course, I, I chose pretty. No, she looks really badass. So I'm gonna I'm gonna choose her, and then they're they're gonna get introduced to different characters in a, a new way. And that's really cool that Blizzard implemented that. I agree. Uh, yep. There, I mean, there's there's like Dota two. There's like you can do something called single draft, which give you a random hero from the strength, agility, and intelligence. Mm -hmm. um, so you're kind of forced to pick like a hero between those, and then you know League of Legends, well, whatever. Um, but I mean, it's, it's great that Blizzard is able to like, I love the daily system. Like I don't, oh, okay. I, and while the daily system kind of felt kind of repetitive, but something like this, like being able to stack dailies, I can like with Hearthstone, it's really nice to be able to just like, all right, I'm going to log in two or three days from now and do all my dailies. And you just get them all done in one big chunk. And I, that's kind of what I do with Hearthstone right now. And it's, it's, it's quite nice. It's not really necessarily daily, but you get them daily. Mm -hmm. which is nice and and wow you had you had to do them daily <laughs> correct <laughs> <laughs> um any closing custom thoughts? games Cus oh thanks for reminding me all right so i closed it because i'm awesome all right <laughs> all right let me uh so custom games where are you there you are all right cut uh when you go to custom games right now it, it uh they have a featured map, and, they, and you can also select the Dragonshire, Haunted Mines, Cursed Hollow, or the Black Hearts Bay. Uh, right now, this is going to be good for just people who want to practice against their team. They want to do, you know, you know, you know, if EG wants to face off against, you know, Fnatic or whatever. Um, and what's really good about this screen is, um, I, it looks like it's built for allowing a lot of new things. Like, it looks like they're going the whole store, the the whole arcade route. In the StarCraft yeah, system, they did say that in the interview as well. Mm -hmm. They they uh they definitely want to allow people to they like they they loved that how far the tools took them, that they wanted to um build that within Heroes as well. And I mean, it'd be cool like you know like ARAM was built was found through uh League of Legends and it might have been in Dota one I'm not sure, but League of Legends they eventually built the mode around it but. And heroes, people will be able to build that mode themselves and have people play it, which is going to be nice. Yep. Any That's about all I can contribute to that. It's a head nod. Yes. Head nod. You've covered it, Taffer. <laughs> <laughs> you said the words. Also, um, there's a profile now. You can't access your own profile, but you can right-click somebody else to view their profile, and you'll see their recent maps if they lost or how many... <laughs> That's wins. awesome. I didn't know about yeah. that. I didn't get to screenshot because some That's load, cool. some don't. It's very alpha. Mm -hmm. mm. I, so... I, I'm going to go stalk a Reb and see how much exactly she's been playing. <laughs> well, you're going to see all the wins. Oh, you can also see if you left games. <laughs> oh, there we so... go. Oh, we're going to find out who's a lever. Yeah, we're going to get red marks, um, red marks on I our profile. I am going to... I'm gonna place a bet. Who who in the chat room wants to place a bet with me that Taffer's a lever? I have one lever. I already said this. I left because of technical oh, issues. You, uh, <laughs> might be. I don't know for sure. If you disconnect, you probably get a leave mark as well. So oh. disconnect. We'll see. That's not good news. <laughs> don't stalk me. Don't stalk me. Well, who wants to hold a bet that Reb has the most? <laughs> <laughs> who wants to the place of uh, a bet that yeah, I disconnect quite frequently. Oops. It's alpha. What are you gonna do? It's alpha. Yeah. Please, please, <laughs> yeah. please, uh, please remove those leaves before you go live. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Any closing thoughts, guys? Not um. Really. Yes. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I I can't even construct myself for this. Um. Dailies. I like them. Get out of your comfort zone. When this goes live, Brightwing, try it out. Add. Mash buttons. It says it's hard. <laughs> what did Brightwing. I say? Terrifying. <laughs> Brightwing is a little bit terrifying. Um, 
No, but seriously, um, gaming will be whatever you want it to be. So make it beautiful, make it heroes, and make it a storm. So that's what I have to say. <laughs> what about you, Berlaine? Closing thoughts. Brightwing is terrifying. Lily is Care Bear. Um, really looking forward to Murky. Um, yeah, me too. That's about it. Um, same. I, I, I love my, my uh, Kerrigan and I love my... my uh, Witch Doctor. I'm gonna keep playing them, and I'll eventually I'll, I'll I'll check out Vala, but it's been Thank fun, guys. Uh, thanks for coming out for our fourth episode. Uh, next week we might have Rob back, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. And it'll Take be a, yeah, it'll be much louder. I promise. All right, guys. Thank you. Bye. Bye.